Older people. Late adulthood. Late adulthood sees another shift in our focus and we experience changes in terms of our development. Physically, as the adult ages, the body starts to wear out. Physical changes associated with ageing include there's a loss of collagen, resulting in thinning of skin, increasing risk of skin tears, wounds, and it also leads to the formation of wrinkles. Our sensory organs start to deteriorate, resulting in a loss of vision, which may increase our risk of falls, and loss of hearing, which can cause social isolation. There's a reduction in muscle strength and aerobic fitness due to our pump, the heart, starting to decrease in efficiency and a reduction in hormones. We start to lose height as the spinal vertebrae are compressed by gravity over time. Older adults may have changes to their social networks due to retirement. We may start participating in activities such as bowls or golf, which can influence our social network away from our work colleagues. Retirement at the age of 65 is the conventional choice for many people, although some work until much later. People have been found to be happier in retirement if they are not forced to retire before they're ready and if they have enough income to maintain an adequate standard of living. Chronic health problems such as arthritis, rheumatism, and hypertension increasingly interfere with the quality of life of most individuals as they age. Social isolation is very common among the later adult community often as a result of reduced physical and being dependent physical ability and mobility. For example, being dependent in a will, of a wheelchair may result in loss of independent movement. Often older adults may have to hand over their driver's license due to sensory deficits further causing isolation. Relocation out of their own, out of their own home and into care can result in social isolation from established friends and that connection with family geographically. Grandparenting typically begins in midlife rather than later adulthood, but because people are living longer, we are typically grandparents for a longer period of time. Grandparenting is a source of biological reward and continuity. There is a sense of self-fulfillment. The role of the grandparent is changing just as families are changing. There is an increasing number of grandparents who are becoming carers or are more involved in the care of grandchildren compared to previous generations. As we age, there will be an increasing number of friends and family who die around us. My grandparents often remark that they have their fortnightly funeral catch up with their friends when others drop off the perch their words, not mine. There is also, this is also true for females. We typically have a longer life expectancy than our male offsiders. Australian women have a life expectancy of 84.5 years, whilst men have 80.4 years up their sleeve. This results in widowhood. The death of a life partner can result in loneliness, social isolation, and increased risk of both mental and physical health de deterioration, with bereavement now recognised as a risk factor for cardiovascular disease as much as smoking. Financial restrictions can impact the older person as they may have a reduced income resulting from retirement, and this may place pressure on them as individuals and their families. Intellectual development from the age of 70 there is a degree of atrophy there's a degree of atrophy of the brain and decrease in the rate of neural processes. Dementias and Alzheimer's disease are responsible for cognitive deficits seen in older people population and characterized by states of confusion, memory lapses, and ends with a loss of ability to care for oneself. This is a mind map of the changes that occur later in later adulthood. This will be narrated later. Continuing with Erickson's stages of psychosocial development, we are up to stage eight, a time of integrity versus despair. 
When we enter older adulthood, the, from age 65 to our death, we begin to really reflect on our life. If, when reflecting, we have feelings of wisdom, minimal regrets, and overall satisfaction with our choices and actions, then we have a sense of integrity. In direct contrast, if the re reflection brings with it feelings that we have wasted our lives, that we are a failure, and ha we have multiple regrets, then a state of despair will follow. These are some references and resources that I've used to put together this presentation. Thank you for listening.